This is the original maze game, this is Pac-Man, this is the, the, the king of them all. Um, still a very popular game to play today. Now obviously it's a maze game and obviously you've got characters within the maze game who move around and we can see the gameplay is that the Pac-Man has to eat the white dots while being chased by the monsters and there are power ones around which if he eats those, the sort of big white ones, he gets to kill the monsters and if they run into him then he dies and loses a life and we can see the, the number of lives he's got at the bottom and so on. What's interesting here though is that this is an early game that features animated characters and the characters actually are animated, they actually move. So if you press play again, see the Pac-Man, let me turn that off, um, the Pac-Man has this chomping movement as he goes up and down as he moves along and also the monsters, the little sort of jelly things, ghosts, whatever you're going to call them, they have an animation where they sort of they wobble around, but also their eyes point in the direction they're moving in. Okay, so I'll start again. Now the other thing that's going on here, of course, is sound. Um, as well as being having animation in the game, this game also has sound in it. Um, so you can actually hear different events trigger different sounds. So Pac-Man moving gives you one sound, eating the food gives another. I think in a second he's about to eat the, um, the thing here. So you can see that <coughs> there are different animations. So there's an animation for the ghost when Pac-Man can eat it. There's an animation for the eyes of the monsters just going back to the den in the middle when they've been killed. Um, so there are all sorts of animations and all sorts of sounds within the video, within the, within the game. So if you want to make your game a better game to play, one thing you want to include in it are little animations, make the characters animated, and include sounds.